Hello everybody, I'm Simon from Tectonix. Today I am gonna talk about What is a VPN? Why we should use a VPN? How to use a VPN? I am going to answer all these questions in this video. Stay tuned guys. So, first of all we will see, what is a VPN? A VPN, or Virtual Private Network, allows you to create a secure connection to another network over the internet. VPNs can be used to access read and restricted websites, shield your browsing activity, from prying eyes on public Wi-Fi, and more. VPNs essentially forward all your network traffic to the network, which is where the benefits, like accessing local network resources, remotely and bypassing internet censorship, all come from. Most operating systems have integrated VPN support. When you connect your computer or other device, such as a smartphone or tablet to a VPN, the computer acts as if it's on the same local network as the VPN. All your network traffic is sent over a secure connection to the VPN. Because your computer behaves as if it's on the network, this allows you to securely access local network resources, even when you're on the other side of the world. You will also be able to use the internet, as if you were present at the VPN location, which has some benefits, if you're using public Wi-Fi or want to access geo-blocked websites. And that's what means the VPN. Now we will see, why we should use a VPN. VPN is a fairly simple tool, but they can be used to do a wide variety of things. Let's see what we can do using a VPN. Access a business network while traveling. VPNs are frequently used by business travelers to access their business network, including all its local network resources, while on the road. The local resources don't have to be exposed directly to the internet, which increases security. Access your home network while traveling. You can also set up your own VPN to access your own network while traveling. This will allow you to access a Windows remote desktop over the internet, use local file shares, and play games over the internet, as if you were on the same local area network. Hide your browsing activity from your local network and ISP. If you're using a public Wi-Fi connection, your browsing activity on non-HTTPS websites are visible to everyone nearby, if they know how to look. If you want to hide your browsing activity for a bit more privacy, you can connect to a VPN. The local network will only see a single, secure VPN connection. All the other traffic will travel over the VPN connection. While this can be used to bypass connection monitoring by your internet service provider, bear in mind that VPN providers may opt to log the traffic on their ends. Access geo-blocked websites. Whether you are an American tries to access your Netflix account, while traveling out of the country or you wish you could use American media sites like Netflix, Pandora, and Hulu. You'll be able to access these region-restricted services if you connect to a VPN located in the USA. Bypass Internet Censorship Many Chinese people use VPNs to get around the Great Firewall of China and gain access to the entire Internet. However, the Great Firewall has apparently started interfering with VPNs recently. Downloading Files Yes, let's be honest, many people use VPN connections to download files via BitTorrent. This can actually be useful even if you're downloading completely legal torrents, if your ISP is throttling BitTorrent and making it extremely slow, you can use BitTorrent on a VPN to get faster speeds. The same is true for other types of traffic your ISP might interfere with, unless they interfere with VPN traffic itself. So these are the reasons to use a VPN. Now we know what is a VPN, and why we should use it. So now, let's we will see how to use a VPN. Connecting to a VPN is fairly simple. In Windows, press the Windows key, type VPN, and click the set up a virtual private network connection option. If you use Windows 8 or Windows 10, you'll have to click the settings category after searching. Use the wizard to enter the address and login credentials of the VPN service you want to use. You can then connect to and disconnect from VPNs using the network icon in the system tray, the same one where you manage the Wi-Fi networks you're connected to. But, if you're just getting started with VPN, and want a basic VPN for using on public Wi-Fi hotspots or accessing region-restricted websites, there are a few good, simple options. I'll recommend you to use them. We like Windscribe. Windscribe has better speeds and it offers a free option, as long as you aren't using more than 10 GB per month. There are other VPN products on the market, I'll put them in the description. I'll now show a quick demo how to use a VPN using Windscribe.
That's it guys, we'll meet up in the next video. Until then, I'm signing out from Techtomics. See you soon.